Hey there, in this video I'll give you a start to finish walkthrough of Go Traffic. Basically how to get started from the first step all the way to step number five with some extra bonus steps and cheat steps uh, thrown in as well. So the very first thing that you should do when you come to Go Traffic is of course browse around, look at the tutorials and everything and hopefully watch this video. But start by going into workspaces, a workspace and creating a new one. Now workspace is where you essentially handle a business. So for example, one of my businesses is called Milvio. That's where I'll build a workspace for it. So if I have another business, which in this case is the Go Traffic, so I'll just create a Go Traffic um, content workspace, for example, and I'll select the time zone. Time zone is important because that's when the, uh, the post will actually get made. So I live in Helsinki in Finland or in Finland. I'll choose that time zone and I'll save this one. So now any post that I make from here on will go in that time zone. That's step number one. Step number two is go integrate your social media accounts. So I have already integrated Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit. You can do that as well. And you can watch the training if you're wondering how to integrate it. But really, it is quite straightforward. That's step number two. Step number three is my projects. Now, this is where you create a project for a given workspace. So workspace is the big company, the big business up on top and the projects live underneath it. So I'll switch to Go Traffic Content. And as you will see, I have a dummy project created, but I want a new one. So I want to create uh, a special one for, let's say, the month of April. And I'll call this April content, add some description if I want to. That's it, it's done. So any posts that I will make, I'll use them. I'll put them under the April bucket just to keep things a bit organized. That's step number three. Now, there's a bit of cheat step here I want to show you. So let's call it 3A. And in this case, of course, typically I would now go and start posting, but we've got a special feature over here called 365 projects that you can use to automatically schedule content for the next year or so if you wanted to. So all you have to do is click on schedule for 365 days. You'll pick a workspace, which is let's say in this case, go traffic content. And then you can choose what pages or groups you want to post to. So it says for some reason that's not connected. So let's go ahead and check and see what's up. So I'll go into integrations. Of course, integrations are by workspace and I haven't done any integration here for any other platform. So I'll just go ahead very quickly, connect to Facebook. Let me do that right now. Okay, it's done because Facebook was already integrated elsewhere. It was fairly easy to do. So let's go back into 365 projects. And now I'm going to schedule for 365 days. Let's go to go traffic content. And you can see now my pages and groups are connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose a page. Let's say if I can find one that I want to post to. So I'll go for Kyvia shop in this case. And then I'll also choose a group. So let me see if I can find the one now that I'd like to post in. There we go. For Facebook groups, you do need to have uh, an app connected in there in the group and once you do that then the post will actually go live so we do cover that in another training once this is all done you can just go ahead and click save that's done and you can see now we have content scheduled for the rest of the year all the way up till december the content is scheduled for facebook groups if you wanted to see what this content is you can go to manage posts and you can see all the posts that uh, exist in this content so I think this one was, let's just search for January, we have all these posts. For February, we have all these posts and so on and so forth, right? And you can of course very quickly see what these posts are. So this is what I'm posting on that particular day. That's it. And you can edit this as well. So if you want to change something here, you can change it and then you can publish it as well pretty straightforward and that's how the manage posting part works as well by the way which is step number four so you're going to manage post you will pick a workspace i'll go, for, go to go traffic and then you pick a project so let's say i'll go to january we have all these posts over here you can add a new one and adding a new one is really simple so you'll just call this a test post say save Once it's done, you'll be able to use the editor to automatically post on the pages, groups, wherever you want to post or whatever, whatever is connected for that matter. Right, so you can do all that here. And of course, you can also choose some of the done for you prompts that we give you, uh, say something like this. Or you can also come here and choose one of the done for you content. So you'll choose a category, let's say I'm in the 
digital marketing category and you can use this particular content. That's it. That's all you need to do. You're good to go. That's all it takes. You can add some images, some links, whatever you want it to right from within this. So you can go for text with image, for example, and you can put a link in here as well. And that link then goes live. That's step number four, that's managed posts. And step number five is when the posts actually get published. I'm gonna go in and show you an example post that was published by this app. So there you are, as you can see, posts are getting posted by Go Traffic automatically. This is on complete autopilot. So this was 18 hours ago, this was on 20th of March, and now the new post will keep going live all the time without me actually doing anything. That's it, that's all you need to do. Fairly straightforward, and I hope you utilize the power of Go Traffic. It's, it's awesome, it's, it makes things really automated, uh, which is one of the things I love about it the most. Oh, the other thing, by the way, I could show you, of course, is the um, image editor and the analytics, but you can go through and watch the extra video tutorials that we've created for you for those. That's it. Take care.